Hey everyone, it's Kino here. Welcome to the Yoga Drill series. This is just a general all-around yoga drill, very much like what I do almost every day, which is a little mix of everything. So bring your hands together and inhale, drop the mind into the inner body. Maintaining a calm, meditative inner focus, gently allow your eyes to open. Rest the hands down, draw the belly in, and then let's move over onto the hands and knees. So here we go, immediately on the hands and knees, root into the heels of the hands, the knuckles, and the fingertips. Hands really interacting with the ground, start to roll through, retract and protract the shoulders. Dip down, take it up, let's dip down, and again, take it up, down, take it up, two more, down, take it up, one more, down, take it up, hold it up, two, three, belly in, squeeze the fingertips, four, pitch the shoulders forward, walk the knees a little bit in, and then inhale, hover the knees, one, two, Big push up, three, four, walk your legs back, come up to plank, one, steady your plank, two, belly in, squeeze your thighs a little, three, exhale, dip down, inhale, take it up, exhale, little down, inhale, dig it up, down, take it up, again, down, and up, down, and up, and then point the feet and drag the hips forward, one, use the quads, two, three, almost there, four, and knees down, exhale, child's pose. Rest it for a moment, calm the mind, shake it out a little bit, roll through the shoulders. Switch your gaze up, and then let's walk forward with your feet, cross your shin bones underneath you, and now let's do a little bit of core work. Inhale, legs up, one, nice and steady, two. Gaze at the toes, three, four, and just up, up. So use your abs and just come up, little pulses, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, almost there. Eight, nine, and ten. Hold it. Two, use the abs. Three, four, and a little lower. Take it up. Exhale down. Inhale, take it up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Round the back. Take it up. Again, around the back. Up. Two more. Down. Take it up. One more. Down. Take it up. Hold it down. One, two, belly in. Three. Four, take it up, hold it, two, three, four, rest, shake it out, nice and steady, and now back to your hands and knees. Okay, we're working on the hands and knees, and now drop your knees in towards the chest, so inhale, pick it up, hold it, two, three, shoulders forward, and then walk it, walk it, walk it forward, one, two, belly in, three, four, and five. Sink it down, let's practice that again. Shoulders forward and inhale, press it up. One, two, three, four. Exhale, sink it down. Last one, shoulders forward and inhale up. Two, three, four. Exhale, sink down, and then just walk your feet back. Back to plank, hold your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing. Let's hang out in downward facing for a moment. Keep the belly drawn deeply in, nice and steady. Calm the mind, tune into the inner body. Switch the gaze forward, bring the shoulders forward, and let's just hold the knee in. Two, three, four, almost there, all the way back. Three-legged dog, hold three-legged dog, five breaths, one, Two, relax the neck, three, belly in, four, bend, release the hip, release the shoulder, back to the center, and down. Let's go for the other side. Come forward, shoulders forward, bend your left knee all the way up towards the armpit. Two, three, four, shoulder forward, 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 and back to the three-legged dog. Take it up, one, belly in two, three, reach, four, and bend the knee, release the shoulder, release the hip, back to the center, and down, and then let's just walk out the downward dog for a moment, 
and then stabilize. Come down on your knees, child's pose, rest. Nice breath in, nice breath out. Let's come on up, nice and easy. Now we're gonna work on just some easy step up into handstand. Now, you might not be able to do a handstand, but we'll still work on the basic step up position. As you're working up into your handstand, Think about stacking hands, shoulders, hips, all right? So hands, shoulders, chest, and hips. We'll just take a nice, easy step up. So whether or not you get all the way up, it doesn't matter. We're just thinking about step up. We're just gonna give this three tries. So inhale, step up, exhale down. Inhale, step up. If you got it, hold it for five, one. Otherwise, just keep trying, inhale, step up, Exhale down, two, bend that right knee into your chest, three, four, and five. Exhale, come on down and shake it out. Now, if that was easy on one side, we're gonna try the other side, at least for humility. So let's go for the other side. This also makes sure that your shoulders and your hips are balanced. So remember, we're doing this just to continue building strength in the body, and remember, give it three tries. Here we go, let's switch the legs. So don't kick up with this leg. You're shifting your weight forward. So here we go, inhale up, exhale down. Shoulders, ribs to the hips, and press up. One, give yourself another two or three tries. Three, big push up with the shoulders. Three, four, and exhale. Settle down, relax, and exhale, child's pose. Relax completely for a moment, let your mind rest. And let's come on up, all right. So now let's move over onto your hands and knees, and we're gonna release and work with the back. So come up onto your hands and knees, and belly sucks in. As your belly suck is in, slowly reach through the front of the chest and round the back. Reach and exhale down. Reach, take it up, exhale down. Then let's extend the chest forward, reach the right leg back, and now we're going to really use your back muscles. So inhale, leg up. Exhale down. Inhale, use the leg muscles and down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. So we're going back and up. Exhale, down. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, down. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, down. Two more. Back and up. Exhale, down. One more. Back and up. Hold it. And pulses. Use your back muscles, back muscles, pulses, pulses. Not just the legs, but really initiate back muscles. Think about strength in your back, holding the leg up, and hold it. And down. Rest, round the back to release, and center of the chest forward, left leg back. Square the hips as much as you can, and then inhale up, exhale down, do about 10 times. Up and down. Use your back muscles and down. Think about back muscles, really point the left foot, inhale up, exhale down, up and down. Again, take it up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. About three more, up and down. Reach with the front of the chest and down. Back muscles, take it up and down. And then hold it up, hold it, little pulses, pulse. Back muscles, use the back muscles. Engage the muscles of your back to keep that little pulsing leg up, 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 and then hold it. Use your back muscles to hold the leg up, up, reach it and settle it down. Do a little bit to release the spine, roll through the lumbar curvature, and then roll through the thoracic curvature, and then roll through the whole spine, and shake it out. Child's pose, rest for a moment, knees together. And inhale, slowly come up to your hands and knees, shift a little bit back, step your right leg forward, come up onto your fingertips and send that left leg back. And inhale, nice and easy, come up. Let's stay for five, one. Don't fight, don't force. If you're feeling any pressure on the top of the left knee, just glide it back. Two, belly sucks in, three, four. Calm the mind and hands above your head, interlock the fingers and elbows behind your head. One, lift the center of the chest, two, three. Belly inside, four. And five, take the hands down, pop the chest up, and gently allow the knee to bend. One, two, 
three, you could reach back with your right hand, find your foot, four, and five. Release it, take the hands down, step it gently back, hands and knees, and then let's get a little roll through the spine and switch the sides. Left foot forward, right knee back, keep the belly in, inhale, come on up. Nice and steady, belly sucks in. Hanging out here for a few moments from the belly button open through through the front of the hip. And if you feel any pressure on the knee, just glide the knee back and then interlock the fingers above the head and reach it up. One, calm the mind, two, three, four, and gently release. Pop the chest up, dropping the neck back, allow the knee to bend. One, two, and reach back with the left hand, find the foot. Three, four, and five. Slowly release it, shift the hands forward, and let's come back to hands and knees plank. Rest here for a moment, pop it up to plank, and exhale down. Inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing. Now let's sink down to your knees, and let's go for the puppy pose. Nice and easy. Take your hands forward, and just gently glide, 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 until your forehead or your chest is on the ground. We'll stay for five breaths, one, Two, turn your attention inward, three, four, and curl the toes under, and inhale, pick the hips up, exhale, knees down, inhale, hips back and up, exhale down, inhale, hips back and up, exhale down, two more, inhale, hips back and up, exhale down, one more, back and up, hold it, two, Three, four, and knees down, exhale, lie all the way down. Now gently scoot it forward, so you just reach a little bit forward, and now pause for a moment, we'll just work the back bend, roll the thighs in towards each other, sink into the emptiness behind your pubic bone, keep the belly in, inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, hold, one, Engage your quadriceps, two, three, come up onto your fingertips, four, use the back muscles, and drop the head back for a moment, and pick it up, exhale, gently down, now, inhale, back and up, exhale, down, inhale, back and up, exhale, down, big inhale, pick it up, exhale, down again, inhale, up, one more, inhale up, hold it, two, three, and exhale down, relax. Take the hands forward, and inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing. Come to your knees, child's pose, and exhale, gently down. Big breath in, big breath out. And then let's look forward, taking your hands forward, slowly come up to plank. From plank, let's walk the left foot forward and we'll go for pigeon. Glide that right leg back, suck your belly deeply in and exhale, slowly orient your chest forward. If you need to keep the knee joint closed, keep the knee joint closed, but if your hip is open enough, let's keep the knee joint open. Find the greater trochanter and feel like it moves back and down. And then nice and steady, as you exhale, just easy rest. We'll stay here for about five breaths. Tune into your own breath. Keep your pelvic floor active and the belly sucked in. Find a sense of emptiness in the mind, a sense of equanimity. Extend the right arm, and then if it's accessible and comfortable for you, just roll over to the side. Hold it there for a moment. Don't fight, don't force, just experience. And back to the center, and then nice and steady, come forward. 
on the elbows, knees down. And then let's switch the sides. Right leg comes forward, glide it back. Pause there for a moment, keep the belly in, settle the hips down, find that greater trochanter, and glide it back. And then we'll just rest down here for a few breaths. Really keep the belly in and focus on the sensations deep in the center of the body. Calm the mind. And extend the left arm and then just easy roll over. Any pressure in the knee, you want to make sure to come immediately out of this. Nice and steady. Feel the motion down in the inner body and relax. Don't fight, don't force, just explore. And slowly come back, rest on your elbows, square off for a moment, take the hands back, come forward, inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing. Switch forward, come forward, exhale, gently lie all the way down. Now, we're not done yet. We're gonna work the inner thighs. So, draw the knees into your chest. Give them a little squeeze for a moment. Stretch your legs straight up. And let's just stay here and thinking about your femurs, your thigh bones dropping into the sockets. So just hang out here, point the feet. Drop your attention into the pelvic bowl. And then slowly, legs to a V. Keep reaching out. And then slowly, a little more, 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 more. Just relax. Speak the language of the inner body as you tune in. Give a little motion from side to side. And now let's talk to the inner thighs a little bit. So let's squeeze, activate, and release. Squeeze, activate, and release. Again, squeeze, activate, and release. Now let's do the outside. Push, push into the hands, release. Again, push into the hands, push into the hands, and release. Last one, push into the hands, push into the hands, release. And now we'll just stay for about five breaths. Reach out through the legs, keep the belly in. Thinking about letting go, dropping down, moving deep in through the inner body. No fight, no force, no judgment, no rush. Stay here for just a little bit more. Be very conscious of the feeling in the pelvis. And reach the hands down under the knees for a little support. Slowly bring the legs up to a V. Stabilize. And bring the legs all the way. To, and slowly bring the legs up to a V. And exhale. Then slowly bring the legs all the way together. And now bring the knees into your chest, lifting the hips up. Bend the knees and we'll go for a happy baby pose. Holding on to your feet, give a little upward pressure and exhale, just pull it down. Settle the sacrum on the ground and again, push up and exhale down. Settle the sacrum on the ground one more time. Push up with the feet, big push up with the feet and exhale down and we'll just hang out there. Now just soften. So that's just the weight of the hands. Move the feet and the knees closer towards the ground. And roll over a little to the right side, a little to the left side. Back to the center and feet together. Inhale as you exhale, bring the feet towards your head. Hold it there for a moment and just gently roll around side to side and then back to the center. And then release the back, knees into the chest, give a little roll. Good, then right knee into your chest and easy reclining twist. Calm the mind, drop your attention inward, relax. And back to the center, let's switch. Over to the other side, nice and easy, with no goal, no fight, no force.
and back to the center, and then bend both knees. Bring your feet together, cross the right leg over the left, squeeze the knees together, and then easy exhale, legs over to the right. Pause, keep a little active, belly in, push the ribs into the ground, hold it, and back to the center, and then let's switch. Left leg crosses over, squeeze, and exhale over to the left. Move over and then push the ribs a little into the ground. Nice and steady, calm the mind. Back to the center, open the feet, bring the knees together. And then let's just roll the knees to the left, roll the knees to the right. And then do that one more time. Over to the side, over to the side. Back to the center and flex your feet a little and slowly extend your legs, stretch out the arms. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, close the eyes and let it all go. Slowly begin to reawaken the body, keeping your attention rooted down underneath your skin. Move the fingers and toes, roll through the ankles and the wrists, bend your knees and your elbows. Knees into your chest, give a little squeeze, a little roll, and over onto your right side. And then slowly come on back up. Keep the belly drawn in. Tune in to the inner body and remember however deeply you work, just surrender and forgive yourself for today and allow yourself to go step by step, moving at your own pace, always practicing with an attitude of patience, kindness, love and forgiveness. Bring your hands together. Thank you so much for letting me be your guide into the inner tradition of yoga. Namaste.